Okay, I'm getting the form ready for the uh, last casting here. Maybe a bad idea, but I'm laying it the uh, as a release. I'm putting down plastic wrap, food grade plastic wrap. Comes in the box there. We'll see what it does. There's the stator, getting ready to be... There's been a bunch of yip yap on the other, one of the other sites about uh, using plain fiberglass auto fiberglass resin for this type of purpose. Um, so I'm putting a little extra mat reinforcement in here just to uh, see if I can uh, uh, stop any uh, cracking problems that uh, everybody claims there is. Bunch of extra scraps in the uh, earlobe areas just to give it some more strength in those areas and to economize on the resin. This is going to be the arrangement for potting the pail in the center I'm going to weight down and it's going to be weighted against the kitchen wrap so that should make a nice tight seal in the center so it shouldn't leak any material out and if it does leak anything out to the center it'll just uh, leak on top of the wrap um, and as far as the edges it is sealed up inside by the wrap that comes up over top the uh, layer so even if it does seep out between these two layers here um, it'll just be some material in between the two layers I'm going to put the uh, epoxy in and then lay some more of the plastic wrap over top of it before I put this piece here in place and uh, that will give me the seal I need there and then I have some 50 pound weights I'm going to distribute around the outside edge I have four of those and it should pot itself in place nicely and tomorrow sometime it'll be done that's what I hope for we shall see ready to start pour, mixing and pouring the resin got the 50 pound block of steel on top that's going to seal you can't see it there but uh, it's going to seal against the plastic wrap on the top that's on top of the uh, drip rock on the bottom it's the plan anyway uh, we're going to get the mixing going. Okay, we've got the stator poured and the plastic wrap in place on top of it. We'll see tomorrow whether it does what I want it to do. 
Now while well, I'm waiting for that stator to set up, I thought I'd do a little test. There was some theory going around about uh, the um, doubling up on the magnets causing the field in the back of the plate to intensify and cause a situation where um, maybe you should uh, go with a thicker plate. This is that same plate I had in my first um, introduction on this and as you can see I have a one and a quarter inch penny nail or finish nail and it will not stick and this was, is with the increased in parentheses magnetic field it does stick as you see quite well to the magnet and it doesn't take much to uh, to pick it up it does stick to the surface of the sat iron I've got up here for and this is a piece of cast iron using to intensify the force so let's just take this off put that aside for now someplace where it's not going to stick to anything else and the same magnet surface again the nail will not stick I'm not pulling on it I'm just trying to let it stick if it wants to I jumped right up there from the bottom because there is a force coming over the edge yeah. so maybe that's something I should look at is uh, capturing that force a little better by pushing the magnets down say a quarter of an inch I never thought of that if you're always learning something new let's give it a, give it a try mm -hmm. Well, the force is still there, it's not totally capturing it, but, but it does help. Next one I make, I'll keep that in mind to uh, keep the magnets away from the edge. So, I'm going to put this magnet back up here. And that's with uh, one half inch in between the magnets. That's the bare magnet. Again, it doesn't stick to the back side. Then when I intensify the field, still doesn't stick. So I think that's good.